All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Summertime Rendering episode 10. In the last episode, we had Shinpei, Shadow Ushio, and So go back in, well, not go back in time, um, kind of go back in time, sort of, not really, uh, to watch a, a video um, of what exactly happened on the day of Ushio's death. Uh, very strange, and it was kind of rough to see how she died, especially for Shinpei and So. Um, we find out what's the deal with the Shadow Ushio. Um, the, and the fact that the real Ushio and the Shadow Ushio were actually friends of each other. Um, there is no Ill, Ill intent or anything like that from the Shadow Ushio. She became Ushio and just fully believed um, that she was Ushio as well, not a Shadow. Um, as we've seen so far for the fact that she just didn't realize like she had these kind of Shadow abilities and stuff. And then she kind of realized that she was there to protect Ushio in a sense. Um, there was an explanation, I believe someone put it in my comments actually last episode, um, as to why she just kind of became Ushio instead. Um, but yeah, and the episode ended up with the crazy mother kind of character showing up within the, the kind of past video um, and then leaving some kind of mark on Shinpei. So I guess we'll see what that is, most likely, maybe. Um, but yeah, as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. So it seems like the, the the tattoo or the shadow mark is some kind of maybe like tracker or something. Maybe every time he goes back in time, she'll be able to know exactly where he is or what he's doing. <laughs> oh yeah, the umbrellas. <laughs> I like this dude. I hope nothing happens to him. Uh, in the first few episodes, or however many episodes, I'm not sure, I was having like second thoughts to see maybe he was like a maybe bad character or a shadow, but he seems okay so far. Ah, so we get to see the other side of this as well, where she kind of gave her her yukata and stuff. Wait, what? Did she like her or something? What was that? What's with this fishy looking guy? What's happening here? What are you wearing, bro? That is not rain attire whatsoever. <laughs> You're being serious? Yeah, you could have got all that and then maybe put like a raincoat over as well. Oh, the freaking shell necklace. Wow. Okay, it's legit like having a little Pokemon. <laughs> bro, you know how it is in anime? This guy's out in the rain. He's going to get a cold. This kind of sounds like she's on the phone. <laughs> what exactly are they going to be finding in here? I have no clue. She can sense the presence of other shadows. <laughs> she's doing a little sensing sound right now. Why are you in a swimsuit again? She's going to be like, well, we're out in the rain. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> Bro, you know Ushio. This is her personality. Oh. Okay, sure. I guess it makes sense. I suppose, yeah. It's hard to keep from staring. <laughs> I'm sure Shinpei's thinking the same thing. The place looks very untouched. I mean, a lot of it, a lot of shit's broken, obviously, but it still looks like mm, it hasn't been scavenged or anything like that. Oh my god! Of course, she's scared, and she's a freaking shadow. Lol. Is that her? Okay. So <laughs> good. Makes sense. It's a clinic. Toxins? What? What's this stuff going to be relevant to? What am I feel like we're going to use this toxin for something. Oh god, what, what the fuck is that? Weird ass statue. What? It's massive. What is it? It's like, yeah, okay, a fish. What's the rest of it though? 
Peter Co. Wait, 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 wait. Can I read all? That was too fast. Oh well. Can't be that important. Wait, am I supposed to know who Hiroko is? Oh god, oh god, what the fuck's gonna happen? Oh, it's a breeze. <gasps> is it a hidden door? <laughs> oh, fuck me. She's up there on her own. God damn. Oh, we're gonna get some kind of revelation here. These shadow errands. <laughs> Can you do that? Oh god, what if she copied something? Bro, if she copied something and teared into it, that'd be freaking creepy. Wait, Ushio is meant to be super strong, right? I mean, when, you, when you're hungry, you gotta eat, you know? Oh my god, Ushio, you're pregnant. <laughs> okay. Like it's pregnant, yeah? What does that mean? What? This is a new skill? There's a key. Wow. Bro, she is useful as hell. <laughs> She was like a goddamn multi-tool. Oh, that's not good. I, we definitely should not be going down there then. Wait, so is dad. Is that not the sheriff guy? Or is that like his older brother or something? I thought it was the sheriff. I really don't like the freaking thing on his wrist. I feel like it's just tracking him. Bro. These things are way too dangerous with to even deal with one. Yeah, I was gonna say. Good point. Yeah, okay, that's a good point. But like, so can't do is not a shadow and he can't loop, so protect him. Yeah, that's very true. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's cute. What is it? Oh, shit. Who was down here then? And bullet shells as well? Interesting. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a fucking mouse. A rat. Someone's going to come around that corner. Oh, no. Shinpei, come on. If you can hit the shadow, the speedy little fox. You've just been copied. What the fuck? It's a baby. It's a baby, what? What is that thing, dude? Oh, it's like, I thought it was like the, an orb on its head or something. It's like missing half of its head. Bruh, this thing's gonna fucking jump out of the screen, I swear to God. It can smell, though. Oh. Bro, what the fuck? It's super quick. Is that gonna do anything, though? Oh, it, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Oh no, it's on the bat. Oh shit! Let Ushio handle this, bro. Come on. Come on. Come on, Shinpei. Oh shit. Uh. Damn. Slice the shit out of that thing. So I guess. Oh, so it stuck it to the uh, the baseball vest. Okay. That was kind of an easy target, though. Like, it wasn't, and yet it was. I don't like this situation. Ushio, please keep the fucking shadow detector on, please. What's happening? Oh, uh, what is it? 
Wait, did I miss something? Why does Ushio have both of her arms? Wait. What? Why does she have both her arms? Isn't she only supposed to have one? Have I missed an episode? No, I haven't. Surely. I thought she couldn't, like, grow the arm back because the original Ushio was dead. Ushio's dead, but it was a facade? Oh, okay. I guess that explains that, but I thought she couldn't... I thought she couldn't recover the arm. But I guess she's just kind of resetting her body, I suppose. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Copy the gun, but it can't copy the mechanics. Oh, yeah. Oh, that makes sense then, yeah. So it'd be pointless to get rid of the original. What, has it got, like, unlimited ammo? That's sick. That's actually dope. Why is there a gunshot going off in here? What the fuck is this? Oh no. Oh no. Are oh, they like babies though? Why are they all like chopped in half babies? Bro, the episode gonna end? Bruh. Alright, so that was Summertime Rendering episode 10. Uh, very interesting little episode there. Not, not a lot of crazy stuff happened. Some kind of interesting revelations though. Um, obviously they went to the clinic and found this god of fortune statue known as Hidako. Um, not sure what connection that has to the story so far, but I guess we'll see. Uh, we find this kind of underground tunnel, which is for some reason under, under the uh, So family clinic. Um, and what link that has to the shadows, again, we will see. We've already, we already know um, from a few episodes back that the... Is it So's dad or grandpa? I'm not sure because... I thought his dad was the sheriff. I don't know. Someone explain that to me because I'm a bit confused and I may have forgotten some things. Um, and yeah, so that that's that. And then obviously we go down these unusual half baby things, which I don't really get it. They're like baby shadows, I guess. But shadows are kind of just born into whatever they copied instantly. So I don't really get it. Um, but again, lots of mysteries continue to uh, come up every episode. But we solve some, few, uh, some things. Uh, going along the way, so it's cool. The the arm thing with um, Ushio did confuse me a bit. It makes sense, I guess, but the way it was worded in the last episode or the episode before, I believe, once the original is gone, they can't copy it again. But I guess it makes sense if she's just got kind of like a save file of the original. Um, but yeah, it's interesting to know that she can copy other things as well, like items and stuff like that. And she basically just made an infinite ammo nail gun. So it was very cool. Uh, it'd be really helpful on an actual gun, but I guess the nail gun does help with trapping the shadows. Um, but yeah, overall a very good episode and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have an interesting day and peace out.